Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time watching one of my videos. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the new Morphe Dare to Create 39.8 palette that they just came out with a week ago and I was very excited to receive this package because i just been hearing so much about this palette and it's also one of the palettes that they came up with a new look which I thought was very cool and about time kind of because all these palettes look the same. I did receive this palette today but I already opened it and used it and I created this look that I have on my eyes now. So I'm also going to be showing you guys how I created this look that I have on today and sharing with you guys my opinions, very honest opinions and sharing with you guys what I think about this palette and if you guys are interested in knowing how to create this look and then also just knowing what I think about the palette then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing when I received it, I opened my package. First of all, my box was huge. Um, this is a box. Like, look how huge this box is. Like, I just ordered this palette and I ordered two brushes here and I already used one of them but I ordered two brushes and a palette and they came in a huge box and I just love when companies package palettes so good because I'm just scared that I'm gonna open a palette and it's all shattering pieces so I'm not complaining about the box at all I'm just saying it came with a bunch of this super long but well protected and shipping was good it did take a little bit longer than I expected normally products that I order um, ship to my house within like two to three days I want to say. Um, this one took about a week and a half and I was just anxiously waiting and I was very excited for it so I don't know if it was that that I felt like it took forever but everything was good when I received it. The packaging was perfect and it was well protected so there's no complaint in that. Okay so it does retail for $32 and honestly I feel like it's a very good price. The palette is humongous it has a bunch of colors when i received this palette i was very surprised of the size here is how it looks the box on the outside when you receive your package this is how it would look and then this is the back side of it anyway i was very amused of the size of this thing it was very big i thought it was very big it is very big actually so when you open it it comes with more bubble wrap and then when you open it it looks like the box it has this nice gold like swatch on front of the palette and then it just says there to create 39a eyeshadow palette and then it has the morphe logo up in the upper right corner the palette is not um plastic like the other ones this is more like a cardboard i don't know what it's called but you know like all the other palettes like this kind of material this is what it is so it's not a plastic usual morphe palette and again i already used the palette so it might be a little messy but this is how it looks these colors oh and by the way it comes with this little sheet that has all the names which i actually really like that morphe actually named these eyeshadows the only thing i don't like is normally i don't keep these so that meaning probably means i have to keep this to know the eyeshadow palettes it would have been really good if the eyeshadow names were probably in the back or you know just on the side or something so I'm probably just gonna tape this back here just so I know the names of the eyeshadow if I use this in the future for you guys and you guys know what eyeshadows I'm using so here's how it looks from the inside and it has a bunch of different shades and colors that you can use here and create so many different looks it has these bluish colors here and then these brown and greenish kind of perfect for fall it has these nice burgundy pinkish eyeshadows and then up here you can create some Something as a natural brown dark nice smoky eye and all the middle colors are basically your transition colors um, I know you guys heard this so many times these do come in quads so this is one quad down here where you're supposed to blend and use these colors to create a beautiful look also this is another quad another quad and another quad and then you can use all the middle section as transition colors so they do come with cool and warm tone colors again up here it just has an M for Morphe and it says be your own mousse we dare you which is pretty cute and i really really like this palette i wanted to compare it with the actual morphe palette i feel like it's getting too dark in here um i live in la and it's daylight savings so it gets dark by like three o'clock and it's already five so it's getting a little dark outside so i wanted to compare a regular morphe palette with the new palette and this is the 35r so most of them are basically this size right here and you guys can see the difference like how big this 39a palette is. okay so here is the the difference this is a big 
big difference okay so here is this one and here is the other one you guys can see the eyeshadows oh, these are so big okay so you guys can see the eyeshadows are basically the same size i think these over here are a little bigger because of the space i believe yeah i think from the 39a are bigger but only by a centimeter and look how many there are like so this one was i think um I can't remember how much the 35R is, but I believe it's about like 20 something, almost $30. But this one is 32, like I said, so it is a deal. You guys get so many colors. You know what? This one does have the middle row with the super huge uh, transition colors, and maybe that's why they decided to make it a bigger palette to make it fit. But if they're bigger, that means there's more product, unless it's not as deep. But let's go ahead and see that. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're pretty deep because even the 39A is deeper than the 35R. As far as pigmentation, I, I did try these eyeshadows over here, the greener side. And I did go in with these two and this one over here as a transition color. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I created that. So I'm going to swatch some colors. And I'm not going to use these because you guys will see this on the tutorial video right now. So I'm going to swatch different eyeshadows. And I'm just going to tell you guys the names. Okay, so I'm going to swatch two and two. I'm going to do two mattes and two shimmery ones okay so this one is create and sorry we'll figure out what i'm using but dude look at this this is so nice like sorry my swatches i always suck with swatches okay so here's swatch number one and this one is in the shade create now i'm gonna go in and swatch indigo for you guys and that is this blue eyeshadow right here oh god <laughs> did you guys <laughs> I think i pressed it on too hard that it came out really fat but this is like super pigmented and i'm only swatching like literally two little circles okay so we're gonna go in with two shimmery colors and i'm gonna go in with spark look at that freaking that is so pretty you guys can see super creamy super super pigmented so now with my pinky i'm gonna go in with a blue shimmery so this one is in the shade dare me ah, i feel like i grabbed less product because it was my pinky but there is dare me and all the couple shades that I swatched for you guys. That okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how I created the look I have on my eyes now. And then I'll let you guys know the final thoughts of this palette. So I will be right back. Okay, so I just went in and zoomed you guys in. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a little bit of Anastasia concealer. And I'm going to prime my eyes. Then I'm going to blend it in with this tiny beauty blender. I'm going to go in with my smooth operating finishing powder from Tarte. And I'm going to apply this on my lids. For my transition color, I'm going to go in with this brush right here, and this is a Morphe M200 brush. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and this one's in the shade Bare. So first, I'm just going to swipe back and forth. This is normally how I always add my transition color. And then I like to go at the edge and then start doing circle motions. So it blends in super nicely and soft. Okay, so this palette is super big and I'm just going to tell you guys the names that I'm going to be using just so I'm not like popping the palette back into the camera out of time. So I'm going to tell you guys by name. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with canvas and the same brush and I'm just going to start to blend that in as well, just a little lower. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a more warmer tone and I'm going to go in with define me and again the same brush and then just add this right under that and then slowly blend it up a little bit, not too much. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a Morphe B38 brush and I'm going to start to define the outer side and the inner side of my eyes. So for that, I'm going to go in with the shade Fickle and that is the green portion of the eye palette. Next, I'm going to go in with the darker green shade that's in the shade Pine. And I'm going to start to darken out this green over here. Now I'm just going to go in with another clean brush and I'm going to go in with So Glam and I'm going to apply this all in the center of my lids. So now I'm just going to spray a brush because I feel like it's not catching that pigmented um, glitter eyeshadow as good as I want it to. So we're just going to go ahead and mist the brush and now we're going to go back in with the same shade and apply some more. So I actually just noticed this palette doesn't have no brow bone colors not the ones that I can use because all the center ones are mainly for transition colors and there's nothing here that I can apply to my brow bone without it being too dark so since we're using Morphe I am gonna go in with my 35R palette I'm gonna apply this vanilla color on my brow bone 
I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner from Italia and I'm gonna apply this to my lower waterline. To avoid the eyeliner face, I'm gonna go in with a penny and I'm gonna try this tip that one of my subscribers told me. Basically, you just keep this penny in your lips. You're supposed to keep it in place so you don't do the funny eyeliner face because I'm trying to make it a non-habit. I feel like I do it too much and uh-uh. But -uh. let's do this. Okay, I do feel like I smudged it so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that actually worked. I am surprised. Uh, this is the first time I actually tried this because if I don't use it, uh, that would be me. Thanks, girl. Okay, so I'm just going to go with a smaller brush and exactly what I did on top, I'm going to do on my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with the shade Fickle and Pine and I'm going to put this on the outer side of my eyelids, of my lower eyes. Okay, where's that penny? Okay, so now I'm just going to add some more setting spray and this one is actually from NYX. It's a matte finishing spray and I'm going to go in with So Glam again and then add this under in the middle section of my lower lash line. Okay, so I just went and finished the other eye and my whole face makeup. And for lashes, I'm going in with my Lash Label Lashes and these are in Daydream 3D and they are so fluffy, you guys. I love these lashes. They were recommended to me and I just purchased a couple of them and I've been using these non-stop so I really, really like how these are looking. You guys can see it just makes your whole eye look different and nice and fluffy and voluminous and very dramatic as you guys can tell um you guys they also have a bunch of like different kind of varieties of eyelashes if you guys want to check them out but my favorite are the daydream 3d lashes and i'm going to be applying this one on the other eye if i can find my glue okay so now i'm just going to go in and apply the other eyelash Okay guys, so I really hope you guys like how this look came out. As far as this palette, you guys saw how easy it was to blend. Like the eyeshadows in here were incredibly creamy and very, very easy to blend. And I really, really like this palette. I normally always go in with my 35R Morphe palette, but I'm thinking I'm going to start going in with this palette here, especially because these transition colors are just so gorgeous. Like they are... This is what I mean with this little plastic. Uh, these transition colors are just going to be my go-to transition colors. I already know that for sure. So I really like how everything turned out. Everything was super easy to blend out in my eyes. I did prime my eyes like you guys saw with concealer and it just worked out super good. I really like this palette. I would honestly give it like a 10 out of 10 because of the pigmentation and it just being so creamy and very easy to blend. And the color on here, it doesn't wash off. Like there's a lot of eyeshadows that you just swatch it on your skin and then you grab it with a brush and it just washes off on your eyelids and it doesn't even look the same which sucks I know but for this palette right here I will be using it so much more okay so it says on the back how much product is on here and I want to say that these small pots are the ones that have 75.7 grams of product and then the middle roll right here which is our transition color it has 2.67 ounces of product which that is a pretty good amount of product you guys can see how big they are compared to the bottom ones or you know the one around them so that's a pretty good amount of size especially for the price that you're paying for it they're super affordable this palette i mean you just can't you just can't beat the morphe prices they have literally killed it with their prices and their products and now their packaging is like the best palette i probably own right now and it has like like i said different quadrants so it just makes it easier to blend in and do different eye looks when you just want one color to go to so i really like what they came up and they created especially the middle row because that is so so smart every palette that i have my transition colors are the ones to go first so that is a very good thing that morphe um created and i think that's everything i have to say about this palette you guys i hope you guys enjoy this video and also the tutorial that i show you guys how to create this look if you guys like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel for a new video every week and i hope to see you guys next time